Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so to, in today's video, I am going to be setting up a new glass cabinet. So if you haven't already, I have another video where I set up this glass cabinet back here. Um, and I have another one to set up. So my parents own a retail store and they no longer had a use for this glass cabinet. So I bought it off them because plants. And I'm going to be setting this one up today. So it's not going to be as um, like hardcore as that one, even though that one really wasn't hardcore at all. Um, this one is going to be really basic, but I'll just sort of show you the layout of it, the plans I've got for it, and then I will get to setting it up. I'm very, very excited. This one is going to be for the taller plants. And yeah, I guess I will just show you what we do. So this is where I have it situated. So this is a really dark corner despite there being a window right here. Um, it doesn't get any natural light so I'm going to be putting a grow light in this cabinet. Um, my other one is over there with another grow light. And basically this is the setup. So it has one glass shelf in the middle. It came with three but I want this one for tall plants so I can have sort of two tiers of tall plants here it has a nice little lockable door so I can keep it away from Bubby um, it did actually have display lights in them but they don't work so what I'm gonna do is I have taken the bulb that was in there out of the top and I picked up a grow light from Sun Bulb if you're in New Zealand highly recommend them I will leave them in the description box down below so basically the grow light is going to just screw straight into here and it has a switch on the cord and it's basically just going to be basically just going to be jimmied up there. So this is the grow light here from Sunbulb. It is a 36 watt or 35 watt I believe. Um, again I will leave a link in the description on where you can pick these up. But that is going to go up there and light this beautiful uh, plant cabinet. So that is what I'm going to do first. I'm going to rig this into there. So one thing I'm actually wondering is how to fix it up here. Um, so it sits more like that and doesn't really hang down. Although I'm kind of thinking like do I want it to hang down for a bit of airflow around it? I'm not too sure. Um, I think up there would be okay. So what I'm thinking is I have the hook in the roof. Um, I might like cable tie something to here that goes up to that hook in the roof to like suspend it up here. Um, otherwise it does just want to fall through. And that is not really ideal. Obviously <clears throat> I actually do have some slightly different plans that I want to do with this cabinet in terms of grow lights. But for now this one is going to do um, because I am impatient and I can't wait to get plants in there. So I'm just going to sort of like roughly jimmy this one up just like I said I was going to roughly jimmy that one up and um, the setup of that hasn't actually changed. But yeah I'm going to get some cord, get some cable ties and we're gonna we're gonna rig this. We're gonna rig it. <laughs> we're gonna rig it safely I should add. Okay, so it is rigged up, uh, albeit not very pretty, but it is going to do the trick. So I'm going to plug it in and let there be light. Ta da! We're chuffed with how that looks. Obviously, aesthetically, it doesn't look great, but it does, in my opinion. So, actually, what I was thinking is because that light's quite bright, I might put like a strip of um, that sort of frosted privacy film across the top there so it doesn't like hurt your eyes when you're looking at it because it is very bright. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I am going to put some plants in. Now obviously I have to decide what plants I want to put in um, out of here but it is mainly going to be these dudes at the bottom which are tall and potentially 
that big crystallinum up there. But yeah, that's going to be the fun part, is going to be sorting out what I want to move from this cabinet into the other cabinet, and then what other plants I might want to put into this cabinet. Um, but yeah, I am going to do that now. So I've just put these two plants in to see what it's going to look like, and it is going to look so good. I'm so happy. Oh, I love it already. Um, so yeah, two plants down. I will see how many I can fit in there. And while I'm removing the cabinet, the plants from this cabinet and putting them into this one, I'm also giving them a good drink of water, a good clean of all the leaves, a good clean of all the leaves, a good fertilize, and a good water, uh, making sure there's no pests. And yeah, getting them all beautiful. You guys, uh, again, it turned out so good. I love, love, love it. Um, I know I didn't film a lot. That's because I was kind of like cleaning the house. As you can see, the washing's gone and dealing with baby and doing this. So yeah, but... I thought I would show you sort of the outcome. Um, I think it looks fantastic. Like, I love it. It looks really, really cool. Um, but I will give you a quick tour of what plants I've put in here. It is probably going to change because, like, any plant parent, like, you rearrange your plants, like, at least once a week. So, this is sort of what I've got um, going at the moment. So, yeah, I'll just give you a quick tour. So this is sort of a brief overview of what it is looking like. It's looking so, so good. So, um, I could probably open the door and show you, but my baby's here and I don't want him to grab them. Um, but I have my Philodendron Camposportolanum, or however you pronounce it, in the bottom there. I have my um, Elbow Monstera cutting. I have a little philodendron birkin tucked in under there. I brought my giant pink princess and put her in the bottom. She doesn't quite fit. As you can see, her leaves are a bit folded up, but that is okay. She has two growth points, so I'm hoping that with the extra sort of warmth and humidity, it'll really start pushing out some new growth. And the back is my little philodendron melanocry <coughs> melanocrysum. And then moving up to this shelf, so I have a Anthurium crystallinum, uh, I have an Anthurium crystallinum hybrid, and it has a new little leafy on the way, which is exciting. Um, this one was just living out on my shelf, um, but I thought it might like the extra warmth, extra humidity, so it should start really pumping out some new growth. Um, this is my little Monstera Siltipicana, which I sort of just repotted into this plastic cup and gave it a um, support. In the back is this my beautiful big climbing Pothos Enjoy. This is the tip. Um, I air layered my original plant and cut it in half, and this is the tip um, because I want to preserve those big leaves. Obviously, its first new leaf it put out, it was halfway through when I did the chop, so it obviously yeah, yeah. didn't reach the full potential like the previous one, but I'm hoping once it establishes its roots in the pot, it'll start pumping out some nice bigger growth. And I'm obviously going to have to extend the pole very soon. And lastly, in the back is my Syngonium elbow. He is big and beautiful, and he has a new leaf up the top there. So I am hoping that... Um, he will be able to push out some new growth. He is pretty close to the light, so I don't really know how that's going to go. I'm going to monitor, uh, make sure the light's not too intense, like it's not burning the leaves or bleaching the leaves. Um, but I thought I'd put like the variegated ones on top, which prefer a bit more light, I think. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that is the layout so far. I'm in love. It looks so much better in person than it does on camera. Like, you just have to believe me. It looks fantastic. Um, but yeah, this guy is looking very, very empty. Um, so the top shelf, oh, I'll open it. 
You stay away, Bubba. The top shelf, I, oh, I've sprayed in here too, which is why everything looks wet. <coughs> top shelf is pretty much the same. Middle shelf, I put my big Monstera Adansonii cutting in here um, because I really want him to take off. I have a few plants in here which are actually going up on my website tonight, so they will no longer be in here. Um, same with some of these guys at the bottom. So, oh, and I put my big Anthurium uh, Crystallinum or Magnificum, whatever it is, we don't know, in there. I cut off one of his leaves. He takes up the whole cabinet, but I'm hoping that um, the extra humidity will really help him push out some new growth because he hasn't pushed out much new growth at all. Um, but yeah, that is my other glass cabinet. So obviously this one is not finished. So once I sell the plants or some of the plants that are in there, I will be able to move my own plants back in there and make it look a bit nicer. Um, but for now, it's sort of just like a... I don't know why I turned the camera. Um, but for now, it is sort of just like a little home for some of the cuttings um, that I'm going to be selling. So, I think that wraps up this video. So, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little... Um, I don't even know what you call it. Not a tutorial, but a quick little video of me setting up my glass cabinet. I will be doing a... <laughs> Yeah, I will be doing a proper house tour at some stage. Um, like, yeah, as I keep saying, I know it's not an excuse, but having a toddler is hard work and trying to film at the same time. Anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!